Minnesota's Democrat Attorney General Keith Ellison taking a Twitter to defend Bernie Sanders supporters, saying, quote, I have never seen Bernie Sanders supporters being unusually mean or rude. Can someone send me an example of a Bernie bro being bad? This, despite a series of accusations of violence by so-called Bernie bros, but after being shot in 2017 by a Sanders supporter, House Minority Whip Steve Scalise, well, he's got a different take, tweeting in response, well, I can think of an example. Uh, he is joining us now. He is none other than Steve Scalise. I had the honor and privilege of serving with Steve Scalise as well as Keith Ellison. But I got to tell you, what the Democrats are doing and some of the stuff that they're, you know, the positions they've taken, you've got the new piece up on foxnews.com uh, after watching that debate. What's your take on where the Democrats are going? Hey, Jason, uh, good to see you again. Um, look, I, you can see them fighting over this idea that you got to be further to the left than Bernie Sanders, and they're embracing socialist positions, you know, from the Green New Deal that gets rid of airplanes and cows to uh, you look at Medicare for all, gets Sorry. rid of your private health insurance. And frankly, they've lost the heart and soul of, of the working class people that used to bounce back and forth between Republicans and Democrats. Those hardworking families are all in with President Trump because he's delivered for them. And the Democrats are trying to take us to a place that, look, every other country that's tried socialism, it's failed miserably. No Democrat candidate for president would want to go to any of those countries and spend more than a weekend, and yet they want to do that to this country. It's not going to happen. Representative, so, where do you fall on the, on the whole Bernie bro thing? Because obviously what happened to you, it was a Bernie Sanders supporter, but you didn't, you're not pinning it on Bernie Sanders. At the same time, they're, they're, they're calling out, people are calling out and defending conduct of what folk Bernie bros are saying on the Internet. How do you handle not tying it to the candidate while also trying to make sure supporters don't get out of control? Right. And look, I don't hold it against Bernie, but we've all got to stand out against violence. There is no place in our society for, for threatening people or or carrying it out, uh, you know, your differences on politics, we all have differences with our friends, with people on the other side of the aisle, uh, but it, there's no place in politics for violence, to threaten or carry out violence. And that's where everybody has to take a stand, whether it's your supporters or somebody else's. Sometimes it's easy to call out the other side, but you've got to call out your own side too. And I think uh, that that's something where well, they could definitely pick up the pace. And Congressman, <laughs> is it something that Bernie Sanders has done adequately enough? Has he held his supporters to account? Well, look, you see some Democrat candidates, uh, opponents of Bernie's right now that are experiencing some problems of their own and they're calling it out. And I think Bernie's got to call it out too. Everybody's got to call it out. And, uh, you know, look, it's, it's again, it's easy to call out one side, but if I see Republicans uh, that are threatening people, I call that out too because there's no place for it. No, you're right. There's a difference between having an objective discussion about differences on policy as opposed to some of the violence and attacks that are going out there now. Um, but I got to tell you, Congressman, you know, we're just gearing up here. We're still February moving into this 2020 election. Um, and it is fascinating that here we are talking about a Democratic Socialist. The person leading the Democratic Party isn't even a registered Democrat at this point. Now, look, there's a meltdown in the Democrat Party. You can see it. It's vocal. Uh, even in the House floor, you can tell so many members of Congress in those swing districts are scared to death of the thought of Bernie getting the nomination. But he's out there winning right now. And, and they, I think they rigged it against him in 2016. It looks like they're trying to rig it against him mm -hmm. this time around. And that wouldn't be right no matter what. Again, no matter who your candidate is, there are rules out there. If, if Bernie goes out and gets it, they shouldn't try to steal it from him in Milwaukee. And I think there's a big concern mm -hmm. that that Milwaukee convention will be more focused on trying to take the nomination away from Bernie than awarding it to whoever won. Thank you. Right. Congressman Scalise, thanks so much for joining us today. Appreciate it, sir. Thank you.